Yay, final question. Okay, final question is about light, finally. Okay, so now what we have is that we have this beam of light, the blue one, shines into a diamond. Now, uh, I just want to take the opportunity to explain something as well. If you shine a light into the diamond, imagine that the light didn't bend. Then it will follow this uh, dotted, blue dotted line. Agree? Uh, but the question tells you that indeed it bent, so it follows this red line. So there are a few terms that I didn't highlight in, uh, in, in the lesson. Of course, uh, the angle between the normal and the new red ray, this angle of course is called the angle of refraction, but there is also a name between this. So what is the angle between this? It is the angle between the original path and the new path. This particular green angle, right, is actually called angle of deflection. It get deflected from the original ring. Okay, so this is just for your general knowledge. Uh, explain why the, the light, for part A, explain why it bent towards the normal. There are two parts you need to answer. Number one, explain to me why it bent. Number two, explain to me why is it towards the normal and not away. So you may ask me, what do you mean by towards the normal? Well, this blue one is my original ray, right? And this is my normal. So if you want to bend towards the normal, we are saying that your new ray should appear somewhere here in this quadrant. If you are bending away from the normal, then it should appear in this purple quadrant. So that is what it means by bend towards and bend away. Okay? So why things bend? Well, light bend because the speed of the ray changes. Okay? And it changes as it enters the diamond. So by answering this yellow highlighted line, you have answered why it bent. Have you answered why is it that it turns towards the normal? No, you didn't. So what you need to do... Oh, excuse me, I broke again. So sorry, so sorry. Okay. So why is it towards the normal? Oh, what did I eat? Uh? Oh, I eat dumpling just now. So sorry. Okay, but I'm, I was hungry and this video is made almost in midnight, so I'm hungry. So I'm so, anyway, I'm so sorry to, but okay, anyway. So the speed of the ray didn't change, it drops, right? It slows down. So by saying that it slows down, it will help you explain why is it towards the normal. But as you can see, there are two answer lines. So they will expect you to give a bit more detail. So maybe you can talk about the property of the diamond because diamond has a higher refractive index maybe or you can say that the diamond has a higher density maybe so just try because you never know what the marker expect from this simple context this simple question but since you see two answer line just talk a bit more okay but don't overcommit. okay for part b uh you are given the refractive index of air as 1.02 so please use it normally we won't expect you to give me 1.02. You can use 1. Okay? I repeat. Uh, normally, if they didn't say anything, N of air is 1. Okay? So now, how do you use Snell's Law? If you forget how to use Snell's Law, this is a revision for you. Pick a side. Then after that, put in all the data you have for air on the left side. So left side, N of air is 1.02. Dita, what is the angle that the light ray make in air? So this is air side. I need to identify an angle. Is it 45? No! Angle about all this ray thingy, it is always between the normal and the ray. So I'm looking at this angle. I'm sure many of you is like, oh no! So, like I said, you are very lucky. As a setter, the 2020 paper, we really tone it down. Even if you forget, you won't get that wrong. So, this is, since this is 45, this will be 45 as well. Lucky you, right? So, this one will be 45, okay? But like I said, uh, 2021, good luck. I didn't set the paper, okay? But good luck.
we know that it won't be a we will not be a easy question. So uh, let's go back to here. Uh, I'm supposed to find a uh, n of diamond, so I would expect I don't know what is this sine of theta. I need to find the angle uh, made in the diamond. So like I said, it is it is the angle made between normal and the new red color ray. In this case, it will be 20. So do this, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, you can find N. Okay, make sure 2SF. Okay. Now the next question asks you to find critical angle. Critical angle has nothing to do with your configuration. So you don't even need to look at it. Critical angle, you just need to imagine that you have a piece of diamond. So it's a diamond block and you shoot a beam there. And basically the beam goes this way. Okay. So what, what is critical angle? Well, this angle. Lo. This angle that makes the ray go like that. So what is the angle in air? Well, the angle in air would be 90 degree. And the angle in the diamond would be C. So just put in accordingly 1.02 as given by uh, the previous question. Now sign the theta will become my critical angle that I want to find, right? And of course the diamond I would have found out in my previous uh, question. Um, should you use the 2SF value? Try not to la. use the long one. Okay, then after that sign uh, In this case. Oh, sorry. 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 I think I did wrong. Okay, so This one will be the one in air. This one will be the one in diamond. Sorry. 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 So uh, sign what? Hey, eh? did I do correct? Did I do correct? Hey, I do wrong. I do wrong. Sorry. 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 So this is air. Air, air will be air will be 90 right diamond is the one will be c right so uh solve this and uh and uh you will get the answer so even for angle uh, this is angle right 2sf everything 2sf except readings okay uh next uh the light hit the boundary bc what is bc Okay, this is BC. So BC is over here. So basically, I think the question is asking you when the light reach here, how will the light move? Does the light go like that? Does the light go out or what? So to answer this, I need to know its critical angle. So uh, down here, describe how the light ray will continue to travel immediately and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I leave it blank uh, because there can only be two possibility, right? Either it bounce back so how to describe that well it will go through total internal reflection and in part b they will ask you why so why because your incident angle is larger than the critical angle so what is this incident angle well here remember angle is between the ray and the normal so between the ray and normal refers to this guy over here. So if what you calculated is uh when what you calculated as the critical angle is less than 70, then it is case one. Case two, it is that it will just refract out. So it will get refracted out. And why? Well, because your incident angle is less than your critical angle of the diamond. Well, there can be a third one that is like that. If it is the third one, then your angle of incident is equal to the critical angle. Yeah. So that would be your D part one, part two. Uh, for your part E, I will give you a hint. In order for you to see, right, the light must reach your eyes. So, for example, if this light comes from an object and if your eyes is here very beautiful eyes your light ray okay maybe too messy uh, let me clear this up so 
So let's say your eye is here and then there's an object over here. Okay, this object send a light beam here, go through refraction and let's say it is lucky enough to go TIR. Can your eyes see this object or not? Cannot, right? Because the light ray never reach your eyes. So the approach to the last question here is that you need to state and state it very clearly to the marker that for you to see the light from object must reach the eye, right? So, but when light travel through diamond TIR, you cannot use TIR, uh, you must spell out uh, total internal reflection could occur and the light will not reach your eyes, right? Yay, finish. So you have completed a very basic, basic uh, check on whether you understand your content or not. Okay, to be frank, this is really, really, really easy paper. Okay, in pure science standard, any school, this is easy paper. So 2020 paper, we give you a teaser. Uh, next, we will have a mock exam, right? During the mock exam, you will be seeing how an actual paper will look like. Okay, if you really need more practice, try the TYS question. Our, our, our end of year paper will take a lot of hints from the uh, TYS.